So today is February 21st, 2018, and I'm happy. Um, Arlo, who announced their support for HomeKit for the Arlo Baby Cam at CES 2018 just a little while ago, um, about a month ago, month and a half, they've actually delivered in record time. This is awesome. This is a great little camera. And as you can see, it's really cute as well. It is 1080p. It's got a temperature sensor, a humidity sensor, air quality, sound sensor. It's got two-way audio. It's got a nightlight. It plays music, little lullabies. It's got a motion sensor. And this could be an awesome product to work with Apple HomeKit, assuming they expose everything. So let's take a look and see what's actually exposed in the first release. So you can see you need the new updated app, which is version 246. This is only updated a couple hours ago. So I've already got the Arlo camera up and running and I've done the initial install. So I will post that video as well. And as you can see here, it's, it's pointed out a window. It's kind of cool, right? It, it is there and it works. So what we're gonna do first, when I was poking around in here and I saw this home kit, I'm like, okay, well, let's let's add home kit support. And then I clicked through and I put it in a house and long story short, I figured out this is not how you set up home kit. This is just how you give it initial access to your um, home kit home, right? So we're actually gonna go up to the My Devices and that's where we're gonna add in the home kit support. So you can see here, we've got home kit set up. So I'm gonna click on that. We've got this here. Make sure you've got your firmware first. So my device, device info firmware. So we'll go over and check that quickly. I'll scroll down to the bottom here, go to device info. We'll go to firmware and make sure we're on the latest and greatest firmware. Scroll down here to make sure that there are no updates available. Okay, good. This is good. HomeKit set up again. We will click on the next button now. And it's going to ask us which home, if you've got multiple HomeKit homes, to put that in. Again, the Unity course is in here if you want. Check that out. I'll put a link and a coupon code in the uh, details below. So I didn't have my HomeKit setup code easy in access, which is found on the Quick Start Guide. So I just grabbed it off the bottom of the feet, which is right there. I just had to uh, spin the feet counterclockwise, and it just worked. It gets me the HomeKit code. I'm going to type that in manually, enter code, put in the first couple, and Bam, there we go. Look at that. Really, really nice and simple. Arlo Baby added, your, netic, your new accessory is ready to use. Location, so we'll put it in the right location here. I want to change the name of it first. So this is going in my daughter's room, so I want to put this as uh, Micah, Micah's camera. And we're going to put it and locate it in the room, Micah's room. So there we are. And that's really it. We're done. We have done the HomeKit setup. So now we're going to flip over to the Apple Home app and take a look and see what we can see over here. So this camera has a lot of capabilities. And one of my first questions, and I haven't got an answer until now, is what is actually exposed? And from what I can see, not a lot. There is the camera itself, which is great. Um, I have a motion sensor in the room. But this is not the motion sensor coming from the Arlo camera. This is actually an Echo B um, remote sensor as well. I've got a temperature sensor, only one, which is also coming from the Echo B. So it looks like Arlo has some room to grow here. Um, the camera does look good, right? The, um, the actual HomeKit support works really well. I'm liking that. The two-way audio I've tested, it works, but I think Arlo missed an opportunity here, or um, another way to say that is they have a lot of opportunity for additional growth by exposing more of the capabilities of this device into HomeKit. Again, you've got air quality, you've got temperature, humidity, sound, you've got all these um, night lights. You got a lot of functionality that Arlo could, in the future, if there's enough of us asking for it, expose into HomeKit. So the beautiful thing is, is this is a uh, the fourth HomeKit camera that is now supported. So we have the D-Link Omna, we have the the, um, the Logitech Wired, Logitech Circle 2, the wired version only. We have the Netatmo Presence, the outdoor. Um, and now we have the Arlo Baby Cam. So um, this is great, works with HomeCam, which if you haven't seen that yet, is a um, app specially for the home camera for the HomeKit cameras, works on your Apple TV. You can see it here, um, brings in temperature sensors, things like that. I'll do a review on this soon. So this is this is why HomeKit right here. It just works. And that's it, guys. Great news for us as HomeKit users. We now have more options, which we love. 
If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. That would be great. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It really, really does make a difference. And if you want to learn a little more about making your house just a little bit smarter using Apple HomeKit, please check out the link to my Udemy course in the details below. See you guys soon.